I say nice, it is kind of a little bit like a poo colour. Do you think they're a bit pooey? Any guesses before I open? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Do you know what? The weather turned up for this video because it feels like spring today. The sun is shining, it's actually pretty warm, the skies are blue and I just feel excitement for this new season. So this video is my first haul of spring and as much as you guys know I love autumn winter, it is no secret, <laughs> I have enough coats to last me a lifetime and I love layering and all the rest of it. I just feel like spring this year is going to be the best thing ever. The days are getting longer, they're also getting warmer and it's looking like the world is opening back up slightly. We're easing our way back into normality and I'm just so happy to see it. So I really feel like this season my outfits are going to matter more than ever. I'm going to be seeing some people that I haven't seen for like a year. So I'm making sure that my wardrobe is up to scratch. So I've actually picked up some new jewellery which I'm really excited to show you. I've got a lot from Zara, I did a big order. I've also got, oh I did a little bit of a designer splurge which I'm going to show you too. So let's kick off the haul with some diamonds. The first brand I'm going to speak about is Majuri. I get questions all the time about the jewellery that I wear on an everyday basis. Being these rings, these necklaces, my earrings and they're all from Majuri. I genuinely love this brand so much. The quality of the stuff is brilliant but it's also at really affordable prices. So if you're not familiar with the brand, they are a jewellery company, you can get sterling silver, real gold. I am pretty lazy when it comes to jewellery, I can't lie, and I like to wear real gold pieces so I don't have to take them off. So all of this jewellery I sleep in, I mean I do take my rings off, because does anyone else find that rings sometimes make your fingers claustrophobic? I don't know if that's just me, <laughs> but sometimes when I sleep in rings, I don't know, it's just such an odd feeling. But my necklaces, my earrings, I never take them off, I shower with them on, sleep with them on, fake tan, do everything in life with my jewellery on. So, many of you have probably seen some of the pieces that I'm wearing right now before, being my two necklaces. I'm just going to run through everything again because I always get asked questions about this. So my necklaces are actually two necklaces stacked. So, I've got the smaller diamond necklace from Missouri and then I've got the large diamond necklace over the top. The small one, it was the one that I got first and then I got the large one a few months later. I just adore them. They're so easy to wear, it feels like you're not wearing anything. I get compliments on them all the time. The quality of them is brilliant and... Well, I've been wearing them for over a year now, so that should tell you how much I love them. Now on to something that's new in my collection, and it's in my ear. So my earring stack at the moment, I am so proud of this. Every single time I look in the mirror, I catch a glimpse of the diamonds, and I'm like, wow, is that you? I have been a lover of sparkly things and diamonds since I was so young. My nan always called me a magpie when I was little and I feel that she is actually to blame for that. She has a beautiful jewellery collection and so does my mum actually and ever since I was really little I would always be into their stuff and trying it all on. So my obsession with diamonds started when I was really young. Obviously it's taken a few years for me to get to a point where I can actually afford diamonds but that's a great thing with Missouri. the prices are really affordable. So let's start with my left ear. So the first stud are the new ones. So these are called the large diamond studs and you know what, they are a really good sized diamond. My brother went, wow, are they real diamonds in your ear? <laughs> because they were like twinkling under the kitchen lights. So there you go, if my brother's noticing them, they must be pretty good. So that's in my first hole and I actually have exactly the same in my right ear as well. So then in my left ear, I've got the three small diamond studs. You'll see in this cutaway, I've actually taken out my large diamond earring and I've replaced it with my 14 karat gold diamond hoop earring. These are so comfy and perfect for every day. I feel like it's just really subtle, understated and like quite a classy look. The great thing is with these earrings, they're so comfy. I sleep with them in a shower, all the rest of it, I never ever take them out and they look pretty every day, which is a bit of a bonus. <laughs> then in my left ear, it's pretty much the same. The second hole is another diamond stud, and then the top one is actually a lightning bolt golden diamond stud, which is also from Missouri. Onto my wrist, I actually have a new bangle. So this looks beautiful stacked with some other jewelry pieces that I have. Once again, I wear this every single day. It's so easy to take on and off. It's one of those ones that just pulls open and then slips off your wrist. But the closing of it is so discreet 
it actually just looks like a solid gold bangle all the way around. It's really comfy and like I say, super effective when it's stacked with other things too. Then on to a couple of new rings. So a few of my rings are ones that I've already worn before. I'll show you in a little bit of a close up, just all of them together, but I'll talk you through my new ones. I just need to quickly introduce you to my new gloves. I have a severe case of lockdown nail. My nails are not looking pretty. No nail salons are open, but I still wanted to show you guys my new rings. So I ordered myself some jewelers gloves. So on my middle finger is a newbie and it is my eternity band. It's got diamonds the whole way around it. And when I say this sparkles, I am not joking. It's so pretty. Underneath like down lighters, I'm saying it because in our kitchen we have down lighters and it twinkles, like it's so beautiful. It's also perfect for stacking. I have obviously some other Missouri rings that I wear all of the time and have been for, I mean, a few of them over a year. But the great thing is with them, you can stack them so easily. Just for size reference actually, I mean, it's really hard to try and pick rings online, which by the way, Missouri send back service is really good. So if they don't fit, you can send them back and exchange them. But just for size reference, I wear a size six and the size six actually fits quite a few of my fingers. So it fits perfectly my middle finger, my index finger, and also my other finger on this side. I don't know what that finger's called. The great thing is with that, you can kind of move them around. So if you want to change like the positions of your rings that day, it means like I can stack them all on one finger if I prefer and mix and match them around. And then my new ring on my left hand, is actually named after one of my favorite pastries. It's a croissant. <laughs> this ring comes in a few different ways. So you can get it in the plated gold and it has no diamonds on it. I went for the one that was real gold and then it's got diamonds running through kind of like one of the center bits. It's so different from anything I've ever seen before and it is just so pretty. It would also be really good, and I thought about this after it arrived, but it really would be nice as like a pinky finger. I really like a signet ring. And I think if you got it in a smaller size and you wore it on your little finger, it would actually look really cool. Overall, I am a genuine Missouri fan. Like I say, some of these pieces I've been wearing for well over a year, daytime, nighttime, they've not come off my neck, literally. And so I feel like I fully quality checked them all. I couldn't recommend them enough. They make perfect gifts. And yeah, whenever you guys ask me about my jewelry, it pretty much always is Missouri. So next up, let's start with Zara. I did a lot. I did a big order from Zara, guys. I don't know. I feel like this whole new season has me very excited. So let's get into it. By the way, guys, this is the first time I've opened this package. So it's quite exciting. Do you know what? There's a black hair on this white jumper. No, I definitely don't have black hair, it's interesting. So first up, I picked up this cardigan and I grabbed it in a size medium. It was 49.99. I feel like cardigans are really good for that whole transition. So we're gonna ditch the coats, maybe not this week, but sometime pretty soon, we're gonna ditch the coats, but it's not quite warm enough just for t-shirts and stuff. Never really is in the UK anyway, but definitely in springtime, we need something over the top of our t-shirts. So I picked this up and thought it would look really cute with a white t-shirt or a cream t-shirt underneath and then a pair of just regular blue mum jeans. And it feels like really good quality. The only thing I didn't like about it, and looking at it again now, I didn't like the fact it has no pockets. I quite like a pocket, you know. They're just handy. I also think though, this will be really nice for just kind of around the house, you know, when you wanna be cozy. I feel like this could end up being one of those things that I wear out nice, like 10 times, and then it just ends up being something that I chuck on when I get home. <laughs> of course. We know what season we're going into. Everyone takes the mickey out of me for the amount that I love a blazer. So this is my first blazer of 2021, guys. So I picked it up in a size medium. It was 89.99, so quite pricey, I have to say. It's brown. I do have a lot of brown blazers, but I don't have any brown blazers that are kind of like this linen-y colour. Got tortoiseshell buttons, which we know I love. Once again, I feel like this would look really, really cute with blue mum jeans, a white t-shirt. You know that's a very classic me look, but it's also a very classic look for anyone. Never dates, and it's just really fresh. And actually, I'm going to show you, I don't know if they'll actually go, but I picked up a pair of boots that I thought might go quite nicely with this look. So, I picked up these suede sock boots. I actually tried these on in Zara, 
before the shop shut which was obviously quite a long time ago now and i was quite shocked to see that they're still online these are faux suede yeah i don't believe they're real suede they were actually only 45.99 so yeah definitely not real suede they've got like a wooden effect heel on them but i thought they'd look really cute so as i say white tee this blazer well yeah they're actually a really really good match so these this blazer blue jeans white tee Tell me now, that's a spring look. I can see myself now wearing this in April at lunch with all of my girls. Can't wait. I tell you what, is anyone else as excited as life to get back to normal as me? I just don't even know. Okay, next up is actually split into two boxes because the next few pieces are like two pieces, like co-ord. Does that make sense? So let's start first of all with the skirt. So I picked this up in a size medium. It's $25.99. Now this skirt, I've actually seen it all over Instagram and it comes, well it doesn't come with, but you can buy a cropped blazer with it that's the same colour as this. So it looks like a co-ord set. The crop blazer, unfortunately, is out of stock online. I'm going to keep looking for it, though, because I do think the crop blazer would be cuter. But after I was about to kind of take it out of my bag and forget about it, I saw, well, actually, Zara recommended this to me. Um, they're clever with that, aren't they? But I saw that, actually, they do do the blazer, but in a longer version. Now, what I'll say is I can already tell it's an oversized fit. So I picked it up in a size medium. And it's $49.99. It's actually not bad value for money at all, considering the last blazer I showed you was, just say, $89.99. I do think that it would look better with the cropped one, just because I think this is kind of going to drown the skirt slightly. Either way, I love a co-ord skirt set in spring slash summer. It's just a really chic way to look kind of summery. Does that make sense? Like, I love, like, structured tailored things another great thing about buying co-ords is you can wear the skirt again with a different top it looks like a completely different outfit and you could easily wear this blazer with a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt and you'd never know that they actually went together so i feel like you get multiple outfits out of co-ord sets so yeah smart thinking <laughs> so next up we have got another cardigan oh my goodness this is so heavy for a cardigan I so my idea was I was either going to keep the cream one or this one so you'll have to decide in the comments which one you prefer this one's a minkier color it's really quite big I picked it up in a size medium and it was 59.99 really have the same kind of outfit idea for it so white tee blue jeans and like trainers or heeled boots or something like that this does feel quite a bit thicker and this one does have pockets. Overall, it does feel a lot more extensive. I do think I prefer the cream colour. Like, if this was in cream, this would win, personally. But I'm just not sure if this colour is still a little bit wintry. It's also a little bit longer, this version, which... I don't know, I am feeling like looking at this, it is a little bit wintry. But let me know in the comments, do you prefer the cream one or this minky coloured one? you have to decide for me. <laughs> okay, I said to you guys a few videos ago that I've made a pact with myself that I'm gonna wear more color this spring. So, I thought this was gonna be a lot pinker than it is. On the website, this looked a lot more pink, and in real life, it's almost like a dusky, minky color, which slightly disappointed, because I was thinking like a, not a fuchsia pink, but I was thinking of like a nice like pastel pink. So it's not quite what I imagined, but we'll try it on and we'll see. I don't know if any of you guys remember, last year I had a pink suit from Topshop, which I still have, and that will be coming back out to play this year. Loved that so much. And it actually never went out of the house because we've been locked up for a whole year. So that needs to have its moment. But I really loved that suit, and so I wanted to try the Zara one. So I picked up the trousers in a size small and they are $29.99. It's got like a really cute inner waistband and it's like candy cane but with pink and white. As many of you know, pink is actually my favourite colour and it makes me extremely happy. I feel like these trousers could be quite long. I am only little as many of you know but I do have long legs but I do often find that Zara trousers are made for models. Then obviously to go with the trousers is a matching blazer. So I picked this up in a size medium once again and it's $59.99. Definitely more of an oversized fit. The only thing is with these suits, sometimes I just think they absolutely drown me. Like I love the idea of them and you know sometimes you see girls on Instagram. I've seen no one with this suit on by the way. But sometimes you see girls in suits on Instagram and they kind of drown them but they look really good with it. Like... I try that and I just look like I'm wearing my dad's suit, you know. It's just not a vibe. But 
I'm gonna give it a go. It would be a really cute wedding guest outfit as well. I mean, I don't know how many weddings we are gonna see in 2021. If any of you are getting married, I have everything crossed for you. But yeah, it could be cute. If not, it would be cute as separates as well. And then the last thing I picked up from Zara were these leather leggings. So they're in a very nice brown color. I say nice, it is kind of a little bit like a poo color. Do you think they're a bit pooey? Don't really know why I picked up these leggings, if I'm completely honest, because faux leather is the sweatiest thing I've ever experienced in my life. And as the weather gets warmer, I don't think faux leather is going to be much of a vibe. But anyway, I picked these up in a size medium. They were 19.95, And yeah, I don't know. I think I was thinking they'd look really nice with a white shirt. So like imagine a white open shirt. You're probably watching me in a cutaway right now. Just a really kind of spring outfit. But like I say, these are just a really hot trouser. They're fine in winter because obviously it's cold. But in the summer, I'm just... Not sure about the faux leather, you know. So that was everything I picked up from Zara. I did actually pick some other bits up from a brand called Adenola. Am I saying that right? I think I'm saying that right. So this is like a sportswear brand and I've seen loads of girls wearing this online and it just looks really cute. And do you know what? I am definitely, I'm gonna admit this, on a day-to-day -day basis, I just wear a lot of gym gear. I love my Gymshark. I wear Gymshark all of the time. Um, just because it's comfy and honestly, I think it looks really flattering like it's really good on your figure But I love the fact with this Adnola they do different kind of colors So I saw these khaki leggings and do you know what they feel really 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 good Like really thin but like thick thin does that make sense? <laughs> but I wanted these more for kind of days where I want to actually look nice and you can tie these into your outfits pretty well so these are like a pair of New Balance trainers and a pair of socks would look really cute. So I picked up the khaki ones. I also picked up this white little top to go with the khaki ones. They also come like matching so you can get a khaki top as well but I didn't get that. So I also picked up this white top but it's actually like a sports bra in a top which is really cool. So it's a cropped one but it's got padding in and stuff so it's going to support your boobs. And I thought it would look really nice with these khaki leggings. And even like a denim jacket or something like that, I think would look quite good. And comfort in my life is always key. And I feel like it looks like it's going to be comfy. And then the last thing I picked up was my little designer splurge. So I have wanted these for quite a while. I actually put these on my Instagram, not what it was, but I put the box. And I think a lot of people thought it was a Prada Clio, you know, the new Prada Clio bag. I would like that very much, but it's not. So here is the box, as always, beautifully packaged. I love these Prada boxes. You could like literally put them on display in your house. So here is the inside of the tissue paper. It did look a little bit neater than this, but I have kind of wrecked it. So let's open it up and I'll show you what is inside. Any guesses before I open? Dun, dun, dun. So inside here are the iconic Prada loafers. I feel like these shoes are very Marmite. You either love them or you hate them. I personally love them. I feel like they kind of look like a Clark school shoe. I can't lie. I wore these in year six. You remember when you used to wear school shoes with a really big rubber sole? And like the bigger the rubber sole you had, like the cooler you were. I don't know if that was just me, but at my school, if you had like a big rubber, like almost like a block heel, you were just so cool. And my mum never really used to let me get them because she used to say they were dangerous. Because <laughs> obviously they were like wearing a heel to school, you know. But... Yeah, these would have been pretty cool. These though weren't from Clark's. <laughs> these were so hard to get hold of. I originally wanted them. When did I originally go hunting for them? It was like before Christmas, maybe November kind of time. I couldn't get my hands on them at all. And then Connie from Selfridges, I've spoken about her a number of times before. She put me on a waiting list and then they came into stock the other day. And I just had to have them. I think they're the perfect kind of transitional spring shoe. Get me away from boots and into a little shoe like this. I think they'll look really cute with oversized blazers and little socks. I think they look cute with jeans and black trousers. I don't know. I have a lot of outfit ideas. I'm sure there's a lot of you watching this right now and thinking they are the ugliest things I've ever seen. The only thing I would say, if you do manage to get your hands on them, they are big. I have to say these are actually too big for me. They are a size four and a half. I am only a size four. And my mum is like, why did you buy a four and a half? But often with shoes, I do size up, especially when they're designer, because I just hate shoes being too tight. These though, I could probably have gone half a size down from my regular size. So they are definitely too big. I might try and send them back 
if I can get my actual size and if I can't I'll just put an insole in them and hope for the best and wear thick socks <laughs> but yeah if you're in the market for them I would definitely recommend getting your regular size if you're in between sizes I'd go half a size down well that was my first haul of spring I can't tell you I've said it 10 times in this video already I can't tell you how excited I am for this new season this weather today I feel like can you tell I'm in a really good mood this weather has made me in the happiest mood and well better times are coming for us all as always everything featured will be linked down below so if you liked anything and you want to go and shop it you can easily do so from the description box i just want to say thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and keeping safe and i hope so much i'll see you in my next video take care guys bye